Somewhere in western China, 70,000 laborers report for a staggering task, the building of the airfield from which Allied airmen now are carrying the war to Japan. This is one of the amazing stories behind China's war effort. This shows how people with bare hands and the most primitive tools transformed areas of once swampy rice fields into firm, rock-bedded runways for the plains of the United Nations. It was the work, the sweat, the determination of a people who will never be conquered that carved from their lands the mammoth airdromes from which the new B-29 super forts took off to bomb Japan's home island. In China, no one is too young to be a patriot. The stones are brought by hand from a riverbed five miles away. Mixing earth with water lifted by treadmill, the Chinese contrive a sort of homemade cement. This holds the rocks firm, provides a foundation as solid as China itself. Time out for lunch. There's no working on an empty stomach. A 10-ton roller, pulled by some 150 men, is hauled over the runway. This is one of the giant new planes, the American B-29 Super Fortress. Already they have blasted Japan's war industries. Their raids from bases in China may soon affect the entire course of the war.